Hello. I have a genuine question here about COVID isolation rules and the headline is this. Cutting COVID isolation to five days would save economy 300 million pounds and the CEBR which is the Centre for Economics and Business Research has put out this report and, and, and this is what interests me. Well, first I'll read what the CEBR says. Um, it, cutting it from uh, the isolation from seven days to five would save the economy £300 million in lost output in January, economists have estimated, as businesses are crippled by hundreds of thousands of absent workers. Current rules could cost the economy almost £1 billion next month as Covid infections soar, according to the Centre for Economics and Business Research, equal to a 0.5% hit to monthly GDP. It comes as Boris Johnson faces growing pressure to protect businesses and the NHS from the impact of mass staff absence as evidence grows that the dominant Omicron variant is milder than previous forms of coronavirus. The CEBR scenario assumes that daily cases average 110,000 in the first week of January and then decline by 20% each subsequent week. And here's a nice graph. Graphs are so nice, aren't they? You look at those graphs and it looks like a kitten's been playing with wool and you feel like you know some answers. Well. Here's my question, and I'd like to know what anyone would say about the answer. If COVID is infectious, as we all know it is, and if the infection requires a seven day self isolation period, then what difference does it make to the economy if you cut that to five days? That is, if you cut it to five days and then it's dangerous and infects everybody else, then it's going to cost the economy a lot more than 300 million because there are going to be more people being sick. That is, if seven days weren't really required. Uh, do, you, do, you, uh, do you get my, my drift here? Either we need seven days or we don't. And if we don't need seven days, do we need the five days? Uh, it's, it's a serious question. It, it can't be a matter of money. Either we're going to get sick or not. It's like saying, you know, you're running out of a burning house. You have five seconds to get out or seven seconds to get out. And let's put it the other way round. Assume you were in a house and somebody said the house is burning. And you have to be out. I'm going to turn the figures round here. You have to be out in five seconds. If you wait seven seconds, you're going to end up burning. Are you going to say, oh, well, I'll just wait seven seconds because then I can pick up some uh, important documents or jewellery or something to get out? No, you're going to get out because the difference is life and death. Now, if somebody then says, well, you really have seven seconds, then it means that five seconds isn't important. It's not relevant. And then you, you have to say, well, look, if this person is lying about the five or the seven seconds, then is this person also lying about the fire? Are they telling me the house is on fire because they want to get at stuff while I'm out? You know, all that sort of thing. Anyway, it is a question. If the, um, the CEBR tells us that it's important to cut it from seven to five days for self-isolation, then obviously they don't think that there's a problem there. Right, well, you can tell me what you think. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? 
The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.